Listen to the sounds of the morning. Very, very early morning. So early, in fact, the sun isn't even up yet. Listen to the crickets. The hoot owls, frog down by the pond, a dog up at the next farm. And today, there's another sound. It tells that something exciting happened during the night. Some brand new pigs were born. Here's one of them right now, exploring his new home. His name is, well, actually, he doesn't have a name yet. For the moment, he's still just a little pig. But as you'll see, he isn't just any ordinary pig. Who am I? Where am I? I've never been here before. I've never been anywhere before. Everything seems so strange, but I like it, I think. The new pig has been born here at the Arable's farm. Before long, you'll meet the Arable. You'll also meet the others, the people and the animals, who play an important part in this little pig's life. Now, where should we start? Wait a minute. We've already started. <laughs> it's early morning. We're at the Arable's farm. Some brand new pigs are born during the night. For now, that's all you need to know. Where's Papa going with that axe? Out to the hog house. Some pigs were born last night. I don't see why he needs an axe. Well, one of the pigs is a runt. It's very small and weak. So your father has decided to do away with it. I've got to stop him! <laughs> Papa can't kill it just because it's smaller than the others! Stop it, Fern. Don't yell. Your father is right. The pig would probably die anyway. Papa, please don't kill it. It's unfair! Now, Fern, I know more about raising a litter of pigs than you do. A weakling makes trouble. Now run along. But it's unfair. The pig couldn't help being born small, now could it? This is the most terrible case of injustice I've ever heard of! Fern! John! Oh, all right. You can raise it for a little while. Thank you, Papa! You can start him on a bottle, like a baby. I'll go look for one. What's going on? What's Fern doing over there? Your sister has a guest for breakfast, Avery. In fact, for a little while, she's going to be raising that pig. <laughs> you call that miserable thing a pig? It's nothing but a runt. Why don't you come inside and eat your breakfast, Avery? The school bus will be along in half an hour. I'm going to have such a good time with this little pig. <laughs> Can I have a pig too, Pop? No. I only distribute pigs to people who are trying to rid the world of injustice. Let's eat. Fern, honey, I found a baby's nursing bottle. I'll pour some warm milk in it. Bring your pig inside and give him some breakfast. Say, what's his name anyway? Oh, I don't know. Hurry along now. My very own pig! Now I have to name you. A perfect name for a perfect pig. Fred. That's a good name. Not for you. Clarence. No, you don't look like a Clarence. Maximilian, because you're worth a million to me. Maybe I'm trying too hard. <laughs> Let's see. Barney? Herman? Newton? Morris? Willie, no, Wilbur, Will. Wait a minute! Wilbur! 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 What a perfect name! Breakfast, Fern! I'm coming! I mean, we're coming! Fern and Wilbur! <laughs> Wilbur! 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 Fern loved Wilbur more than anything. Every morning, as soon as she got up, she warmed his milk, tied his bib on, and warmed his bottle for him. After breakfast, Wilbur always walked out to the road with Fern and waited till their bus came. Now, you be a good boy until I get home. Coming! There's the bus. Bye-bye, Wilbur. I'll see you this afternoon. Every day was a happy day for Wilbur. And every night was peaceful. He was very contented living with Fern and the Arable family. I love it here. Wilbur, 
You're getting big enough to have something besides just milk. Try this bowl of cornmeal mush and honey. <laughs> no longer was Wilbur a runt. He was growing each day. He was becoming quite a specimen of a pig. I chalk it up to good, clean living. Supper time, piglet. And to good, fattening food. All right, pig, you graduated to slops. Skim milk, potato skin, leftover sandwiches, and marmalade drippings. Before long, Wilbur was five weeks old. I'd say it's about time for a birthday party. He was big. Now let them call me a runt. And strong. Anyone for arm wrestling? And healthy. Check out the pink in the cheeks. And he was ready to be sold. And for a pretty fair price, I'm willing to... Wait. Sold? Oh, no. Oh, Papa, you can't sell him. You just can't. Look, he's eaten too much. I can't provide for him any longer. I've already sold Wilbur's ten brothers and sisters. Oh, Wilbur, Wilbur. Listen, everybody. I have a suggestion. Why don't we call the Zuckermans? Your Uncle Homer sometimes raises a pig. And if Wilbur goes there to live, you can walk down the road and visit him anytime you'd like. Oh, yes, please, Papa, please. Not a bad idea, Martha. Come along. We'll call Uncle Homer. Can Wilbur come too? Why not? Maybe we'll let him make the call himself. It's not funny. He <laughs> can talk, you know. Oh, Fern, what an imagination. Homer Zuckerman, I want to know where you plan to keep that pig. Uh, uh right over uh, here in the barn, Edith. Uh, Larvy, can, can you go out here and patch up that piece of fence that's coming down? Oh, sure thing, <laughs> Mr. Zuckerman. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I just hope this pig's not going to be more trouble than it's worth. Look, I couldn't turn down Fern, could I? She seems so, uh, desperate, right? Look, she only asked for six dollars. But when he gets old enough to slaughter, it'd be worth a lot more than six dollars. But all the dirt and spider webs? This is perfect what? for a pig. Well, Homer and Edith, here they are. This is Wilbur. <laughs> he has a name, does he? <laughs> I'll finish, Mr. Zuckerman. Well, oh. here's our new border. Fern, honey, I just opened up a big can of peaches, and I know they're your favorite, so why don't you come in and have a dish with us? Okay, thanks, but let me stay here with Wilbur for just a minute till he gets used to his new surroundings. All right. It's very nice here, Wilbur, and I can come by after school almost every day and visit you. Now, I'd better get going. I'll see you later. It's a very large barn. And old, I'll bet. I like the smell. Hay and manure, horses and cows. It has a peaceful smell. As though nothing bad could happen ever again in the whole world. Oh, Fern was right. It is very nice here. Hello, hello! Ah! Ah! Who are you? The goose! Oh, um... Uh, hi, goose. And this is my friend, the gander gander gander! But I only see one gander. You introduced me to three. No, no, no! We tend to repeat, repeat, repeat ourselves. Honk. Do you have a name? Besides, pig. Honk. Yes, Honk. they call me Wilbur. <laughs> Wilbur? That's a pretty tacky name if you ask me. Well, nobody, nobody, nobody asked you. Uh, who is that? Templeton, Honk. the rat, in poison. And, uh, Honk. I will admit, it's nice to have a pig around the place again. Honk. I haven't had delicious leftover slops in an age. Uh, but the slops will be for me. I'm sure you'll find it in your caring little heart to share your food with dear old Templeton. Honk. Especially if I make a nest right here beside your trough. What's all the commotion in here? It's the old, old sheep. And the little, little lamb. We have a new resident. His name is Wilbur. Oh, yeah. The pig. Honk. Honk. You've heard about me? and fatten you up with delicious slops. Oh, I am going to like it here. Just the same. We don't envy you. Um, and you know why we want to make you fat and tender, don't you? No, no, no. 
now, old sheep. He'll learn soon enough. Oh. Learn what? Oh. Nice to meet you, Wilbur. A pleasure, I'm sure. Well, I have eggs to lay. And I have trash piles to raid. Good, good night, Wilbur. Use her uh. some rest as it's such a long day. Uh, uh, thank you. I will. Well, the animals seem nice, I guess, but I'm not so sure about Templeton. And I'm a trifle concerned with the old sheep's remark. You know why they want to make you fat and tender, don't you? Well, I don't know. An old sheep didn't tell me. Oh, oh well. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm much too tired. Go to sleep, Wilbur. Go to sleep, little pig. <sighs> oh no. Morning already? It's raining. In my dreams, I had made such grand plans. Uh, let's see. 6.30. Breakfast. 7 o'clock. A nap indoors. 8 o'clock. A nap outdoors. In the sun. 9 o'clock. Dig a hole. 10 o'clock. Fill up the hole. 11 o'clock. Uh, just stand still and watch the flies and the bees and the swallows. 12 noon. Lunch. 1 o'clock. Sleep. 2 o'clock. Scratch itchy places by rubbing against the fence. 3 o'clock. A visit from Fern. 4 o'clock. Supper. And 4.30 on? Free, Free time. time! Right. I go and make such great plans and it has to go and rain. Uh, I'm lonesome. And I know Fern won't come in such bad weather. Oh, honestly, I'm barely two months old and already I'm tired of living. Morning, pig. Breakfast time. Lots of good leftovers today. A meal fit for a pig. What's wrong with you? We must have a sick pig here. Mr. Zuckerman, come out to the barn. The pig's sick. It does look delicious, but I don't want food. I want love. I want a friend. Someone who will play with me. Do you want a friend, Wilbur? I'll be a friend to you. I've watched you all night and I like you. Where are you? Who are you? I think this will do the trick, Larvy. Now, uh, he won't like this here medicine, so uh, you hold him and I'll feed it to him. Come on, boy. This is uh, sulfur and molasses, uh, I think at least. Uh, it'll cure what ails you. Okay, yeah. dose him up, Mr. Zuckerman. Oh, Ooh. there. That wasn't so bad, was it? You know what? I think I'll give him a second dose, just for good measure, of course. Uh, come on, boy. Ooh. Oh. You know, Larry, this pig will be better in no time. Ugh. <laughs> Attention, please. Will the creature just spoke make himself or herself known? Please tell me where you are if you are my friend. Salutations. Oh, hello. What are salutations? It's a fancy way of saying hello. Well, salutations to you, too. What is your name, please? May I have your name? My name is Charlotte. Charlotte what? Charlotte A. Cavatica. I'm a spider. I think you're beautiful. Thank you. And your web is beautiful, too. It's my home. I know it looks fragile, but it's really very strong. It protects me. And I trap my food in it. I'm so glad you'll be my friend. In fact, it restores my appetite. Care to join me? Oh, no, thank you. My breakfast is waiting for me on the other side of my web. Oh, what are you having? A fly. I caught it this morning. You eat flies? And bugs. Well, actually, I drink their blood. 
I can't help it, it's the way I'm made. And besides, if I didn't catch insects and eat them, there would soon be so many to destroy the earth, wipe out everything. Really? I wouldn't want that to happen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go eat my breakfast. Well, I've got a new friend, all right, but Charlotte seems kind of brutal, I think. And bloodthirsty, literally. How can I learn to like her, even though she is pretty and very clever, it seems? Where was suffering the doubts and fears that often come with finding a new friend? But as the days passed by, he slowly discovered that Charlotte had a kind heart and that she was loyal and true. Spring soon became summer. The early summer days are a jubilee for birds. From the woods, the white-throated sparrow. Ooh, peepity, 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 peepity. From the apple trees, the phoebe bird. Phoebe, phoebe. The song sparrows in the birches. The early summer days on a farm are the happiest and fairest of the year. Lilacs and apple blossoms bloom. The days grow warm and soft. And now that school was over, Fern could visit the barn almost every day. Hi, everybody. Wilbur, I brought you a treat. May I stay and visit for a little while? <laughs> attention, attention, everyone. I have an announcement. After four weeks of unremitting effort on the part of our friend, the Goose, the goslings have finally arrived. Oh, and look, here comes the proud mother now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Honk. And the father is also to be congratulated. We're as pleased as we can be, be, be. Honk. How many goslings are there? Seven. Honk. But uh, I thought there were eight eggs. Honk. What happened to the other egg? It didn't hatch. It was a dud, I guess. Can I have it? Certainly, certainly, certainly. Add it to your nasty collection. Honk. <laughs> Imagine wanting a junky old rotten egg. <laughs> a rat is a rat. But, my friends, let's hope that egg never breaks. A rotten egg's a regular stink bomb. Eh, hey, don't worry. I handle stuff like this all the time. I won't break it. I'll just keep it nice and safe and sound right here under the trough. Oh, Wilbur. Uncle Homer and Aunt Edith seem to be glad that you're putting on weight. Oh, sure they are. You asked me that once before, but you didn't tell me why. Now, 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 old sheep. Yeah, Hunk. I asked, you know, sometimes. Know what? Well, but I don't like to spread bad news, but they're going to kill you. Hunk. Going to what? Uh, kill you. Turn you into smoked bacon and ham. It'll happen when the weather turns cold. Bring you into space. Stop! Hunk. I don't want to die. I want to stay here with all of you. I want to lie in the beautiful sun and breathe in the beautiful air. Certainly making a beautiful noise. But I don't want to die! Wilbur, quiet down. You shall not die. What? Who's going to save me? I am. How? Afraid that remains to be seen. Arn! In here, Avery! Oh, oh, oh. Mother sent me to get you. You're gonna miss supper. Coming. Bye, everybody, and thank you, Charlotte, for whatever it is you're going to do to say Wilbur. Who's Charlotte? That spider over there. It's tremendous. Leave it alone. That's a fine spider, and I I'm going to capture it. Leave it alone, I say. I want that spider. Stop it. Like Stop it, Avery. Card. Stop. Uh, help. I warned you, Avery. It's not fair. And Wilbur ganged up on me. What's that smell? Oh, uh, I think we broke a rotten egg. Good night, what a stink. Let's get out of here. Uh, my beloved egg. Oh. Well, I'm glad that's over. I'm sure the smell will go away soon. Charlotte? Yes? Are you serious when you promised you'd keep them from killing me? I've never been more serious about anything in my entire life. How are you going to save me? I don't know yet. But I want you to get plenty of rest and stop worrying. Okay. Good night, Charlotte.
Good night, Wilbur. Thank you, Charlotte. Good night. What to do, what to do. I promised Wilbur I'd save his life, and I'm determined to keep that promise. But how? Wait a minute. The way to save Wilbur's life is to play a trick on Zuckerman. Well, if I can fool a bug, I can surely fool a man. People are not as smart as bugs. Of course, that's it. This won't be easy, but it must be done. First, I tear a section of my web and leave a hole in the middle. Then, I shall weave new threads to replace those I removed. Swing, spinnerets, let out the thread. The longer it gets, the better it's read. That a girl, attach, send, pay out the line. Descend, complete the curve, easy now. That's it. Back it up, take your time, and now tie it off. Good. The message is spun. Come to the end. The job that I've done is all for my friend. Some pig. Not bad, old girl, for the first time around, but it was quite exhausting. I think I better try and catch a nap before daybreak. No. No, please stop! Oh. I had a nightmare. I dreamed that there were men with guns and knives coming down here to take me away. Here go pig, breakfast. Leftover pancakes, half a donut, some stale toast. Absolutely deep. De What's that? I must be seeing things. Mr. Zuckerman, come out to the barn quick. There's nothing out here but me. That's what he saw. He saw me. He saw that I'm big and healthy and ready to be made into, into ham. Coming out here with their guns and knives now, I just know it. What can I do? Wait. That's that Lurvy patched up. Maybe it's loose again. I have to get out. I have no choice. It's either freedom or the frying pan. But first, a little sustenance. <laughs> what am I doing? I have to get out of here. Charge! What was that? Wilbur, where are you? I'm free! Thou larvae, what could be so important that you had to drag me out here before I put it You'll in see, Mr. Zuckerman! You'll see! Well, all I see is, well, the pig's not here. What? Oh, look out there uh, in the cow pasture. He's escaped. Oh, ate us out there with the cows. Now, maybe she can run him off. Let's go. But the spider web, Mr. Oh, Zuckerman! We've got no time for the spider web. We have to catch this pig. Oh, oh no. Do this. In my ears. There's so much noise, noise, noise. The goslings can't sleep. Go, go Wilbur, uh, run! Run, Wilbur, be free! No, stop run. this! Uh, Don't uh, encourage him. Uh, Even if Wilbur does escape, he'll never make it in the outside world. Uh, so when he comes through here again, we've got to stop him. All right, uh, get set. Here he comes. I'm almost there. I see an open gate to the woods. Thank you, everyone. For all your... Ah, what's this? Even my friends have turned against me. I won't go down without a fight. I'll struggle all the way to the butcher's block. I won't be bacon for anybody. Well, you certainly gave us a run for our... Mrs. Zuckerman! Mrs. Zuckerman! Look, this is what I wanted to show you. A miracle has appeared. On my farm. A miracle. I don't believe it. Some pig. 
Well, it's clear we have no ordinary pig. Well, it seems to me we have no ordinary spider. <laughs> oh, no. It's the pig that's so unusual. Uh, Edith, uh, phone the minister and then call the arables. <laughs> no, Lurvy. I always told you this pig of ours was an extra special one. He's quite a pig. No? I'd say he's some pig. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lurvy. We have chores to do. Charlotte, you did it! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Uh, well, it seems to have worked, at least for the present. But if we are to save Wilbur's life, that means more words in the web, and I need new ideas. Any suggestions? How about Pig Supreme? No. Sounds like a rich dessert. How about Terrific, Terrific, Terrific? Well, <laughs> cut that down to one Terrific, and it'll do very nicely. I think it might impress Zuckerman. Does anybody here know how to spell terrific? I think it's T, double E, double R, double R, double I, double F, double I, double C, 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 C. What kind of acrobat do you think I am? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'll spell the word the best way I can. Look, here comes Clown Hamilton. Maybe he can help with this project. Hey, Templeton only helps himself. What's up? Did you see the message in the web? Yeah, it was there when I went out this morning. It's no big deal. Let him die. Uh -oh. I should worry. Get the magazine <laughs> clipping. Thanks. The meeting is adjourned. Tonight, I will tear my web apart and write terrific. But for now, I want you to go out in the yard and lie in the sun, Wilbur. I was up all night. I really must get some rest. Thank you, Charlotte. You're the best friend a pig ever had. Some pig. Some pig. As the day went on, news about the words in Charlotte's web spread throughout the county. People came for miles around to see the words in Charlotte's web of the wonderful pig spread clear up into the hills where the farmers talked about the miraculous animal on Zuckerman's farm. Charlotte knew there would be even more visitors the next day. So that night, while the other creature slept, she began to work on her web. Swing, spinnerets, let out the thread. The longer it gets, the better it's read. Spinning and weaving, she began to form the new letters. Again, she talked to herself, as though to cheer herself on. Send, pay out the line, now for the R. On through the night, the spider worked at her difficult task. It was nearly morning when she finally finished. The message is spun. I've come to the end. The job that I've done is all for my friend. She then ate a small bug she was saving, and then she fell asleep. asleep. Oh, I can't believe I spent all day and night outside sleeping. Though it is very refreshing, especially now in the summer. I'm afraid to look. I know it can't happen again. Oh, it did. I don't blame my eyes. It did happen again. Terrific. Mr. Zuckerman, it happened again. Wilbur, how are you doing? Terrific! Hooray for Charlotte, she did it again! Shh! Oh, she's sleeping. She must have had a long night. Edith, phone the report on the Weekly Chronicle. Uh, tell them about what happened. Hey, may I want to bring a photographer? Oh, there it is, plain as day. Terrific. What do you know? Happened again? Another miracle! Alma, you're going to have visitors all over the place this evening. I know. Yesterday, my driveway was full of cars and trucks. I think we can park the vehicles in an open field. Avery and I will direct traffic. Hooray! I'll be the captain of the Zuckerman police force. Uncle Homer, 
Does this mean you're not going to kill Wilbur? What? Who, who said anything about killing him? Well, that's what happens to pigs, you know, in the cold weather. The conspiracy. Conspiracy? Where did you get a word like that? The old sheep. I mean, I guess I heard it somewhere. Look, Fern, Wilbur is safe for, for now, as long as he's attracting all of this attention. Come on, Lurvy, we have work to do. Terrific pig! Fern, your Aunt Edith is doing lots of baking for the visitors today. Let's go help her. Nice day. I think you spend too much time with these animals. You should play with children your own age, like Tommy Watson. Oh, mother. Or Freddie Johnson. Yuck! Or Henry Fussy. Henry Fussy. Let's go. Oh, all right. Bye, Wilbur. Bye, Charlotte. Good morning, Wilbur. Oh, Charlotte. Everyone's so excited about the new word. And they're expecting even more visitors today. Morning, 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 morning. morning. Hey, did you see the new word in Charlotte's web? Of course, of course, of course. Terrific was my idea, remember? Now, Wilbur, is all this attention going to your head and making you stuck up? Of course not. They will never spoil me. I know that, but I can do anything with friends like you. Friendship is one of the most valuable things in the whole world. You better believe it, Buster. And you better not forget the friendship of dear old Templeton, who just happened to be at the dump all night looking for voids to save you. Try this one on for size. Got it from an old package of soap flakes. With new, radiant action. Wilbur, run around. I want to see you in action to see if you really are radiant. Now faster. Now back again. Do a front flip. A back flip. Now roll over into a split. Well, it may not be radiant, but it sure is interesting. Actually, I feel radiant. I really do. Well, then radiant you shall be. Uh, Sorry, Pig, but I got so excited this morning I forgot to leave your slot. Mrs. Zuckerman even threw in a whole piece of fresh apple pie she's baking for the visitors. That's what you get for being a terrific pig. Oh, yes. And Mr. Zuckerman's even talking about taking you to the county fair if all this excitement continues. Uh, uh. Did you hear that, everyone? The county fair. That means I'll get to live for uh, at least another month. And maybe, maybe, maybe longer. If you win a blue, blue, blue ribbon, Honk. you'll come to the fair with me, won't you, Charlotte? I don't know. The fair comes at a bad time for me. It's when I'll be making my egg sack and filling it with eggs. You could lay your eggs at the fair. Nobody's going to the fair just yet. Lurvy said they were only thinking about taking you if the excitement continues. Well, that means more words. So I'd better start another one right away. Now everyone gather around in front of me so the others won't notice that I'm writing if they come back before I finish. <coughs> Swing spinnerets, let out the thread. The longer it gets, the better it's read. Templeton would have to go to the fair too. Somebody has to run errands and do general work. And <coughs> no, 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 no. I am staying right here. I haven't the slightest interest in fairs. <coughs> Stop! That's enough. You've twisted my whiskers. I'll go. Uh, attach, ascend, repeat. Oh, it's working. Fast, fast, fast. Oh, I've pretty well got the hang of it now. Here come some visitors. Looks like a photographer and a reporter. Hurry, 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 Charlotte. I'm almost finished. Just have to cross the final T. Over the right, pay out the line, attach, 
They're almost here. Repeat, attach, and finished. Okay. Here we are. Make room for the photographer and the reporter <laughs> from the <laughs> Weekly Chronicle. May I have my picture taken with Wilbur? Sure, young lady. Please. 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 Uh, uh, sure, uh, let me get my wife from my hired hand. Uh, Larvy. Edith. Well, all right then. Uh -oh. Look how big Wilbur's gotten. You're going to have lots of extra ham and bacon, Homer, when it comes time to kill that pig. Mm -hmm. Somebody help him! I'll be the pig. Oh. Hey, look at me. Oink, 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 oink. Avery, oink, oink. what do you Avery. think you are? I'm a pig. Oink, oink, Avery! Oink, 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 oink. Wilbur, wake up, wake up! <sighs> Yay, Wilbur. Well, that pig sure is terrific, mm -hmm. just like it says in the web. Uh, uh, but, Mr. Zuckerman, that's not what it says in the web. Glory be. We were so busy chattering, we didn't notice there's another word written in her web. Hey, Dad, what does that spell? I, I think it says radiant. Radiant. <laughs> radiant. <laughs> well, ma'am, that does it. I have an announcement that you can print in the newspaper. I'm going to enter this here pig into the county fair. <laughs> well, come on, everybody. I'm not done. Well, I'm all not right. Done. If this here pig here wearing a blue ribbon, I sure know, I guarantee to you, that we will not make bacon and or ham out of him. <laughs> well, come on, everybody. Why don't we go in the kitchen and celebrate with some apple pie and iced tea? Sound good, Edith. All right. <laughs> awesome. Charlotte, you did it! Well, he got you to the fair, but that's only half the battle. You'll come with me, won't you, Charlotte? Sure, I'm just not sure. Now, may I ask everyone to kindly leave? This day has been particularly exhausting, and I really must get some rest. <laughs> I'll admit she's owned a little peace and quiet. Me, me too. Ditto, ditto, ditto. I'll be out in the field taking a nap, Charlotte. Suddenly, very tired. I know I won't be able to help over much longer, and I really have to lay my eggs soon, and I do want them to hatch right here in the barn where it's warm and safe. But you know what? I will take the chance. I will go to the fair with Wilbur. People will be expecting to see a word in the web, and it may even help him win that blue ribbon. For his whole future, if he's to have a future at all, totally depends on what happens at the fair. The days of summer drifted on. Before long, summer was almost gone. The end of summer brings many things. Late harvestings, thoughts of school, and the county fair. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, and ride the giant Ferris wheel. Only 10 cents, one thing down. You can see the whole county from the top of the Ferris wheel. Right over here, fellas, win a genuine Navajo blanket. Knock down three cloth cats with three regulation baseballs and you're a winner every time. Come one, come all. Foot-long hot dogs, giant hamburgers, french fried potatoes, cotton candy, snow cones. It's all here. And some more at the Lions Club Barbecue Pavilion. At the fair. At the fair. At the fair. Harness racing. Livestock judging. 4-H exhibits. At the fair. At the fair. At the fair. We're back. Mighty generous with their straw around here, Mr. Zuckerman. I think I'll go get a little more to make Wilbur comfortable. Right over here, Joe. Pop, could I eat some of Wilbur's slop someday? <laughs> well, in a way you already do. See what he eats. Definitely. 
talking about it, doesn't it? Thank you very much! Hold still, Avery. There's something behind your ears. Shed. What are you doing, Avery? Giving the pig a buttermilk sponge bath. You worked up a sweat and you went for a chicken for a walk just now. Can I have some money? Can I too? I'm going to win a stuffed animal! I'm going to crash a jet plane into another one. Avery! Sorry, I <laughs> it's alright, they're just excited. Get out of the balloon! I have a cheeseburger! <laughs> You're going to have to wait until we can go with you. Oh, now, Martha, let the children go off by themselves. They're only home once a year. Alright. Now run along, but don't be gone too long. Okay, thanks. Scrub will grow real good at Edith. He's got to win that blue ribbon tomorrow. Come on, Slowpoke, last one, there's a rotten egg. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. I hurry back. We'll be leaving in a little while. Tomorrow's a big day. And don't eat lots of stuff that's gonna make you stick to your stomach. And if you go on those swings, you hang tight, you hear me? And don't get lost. Don't get dirty. And don't you get overheated. Oh, and watch out for pickpockets. And don't cross the racetrack when the horses are coming. Do you think it's all right, John? Well, you gotta grow up sometime. The fair seems like a good place to start, I guess. Sign from Wilbur's crate, Mr. Zuckerman. Good, Larvy. I'll set it up uh, right here, so that way everybody can see what they've been hearing about. Zuckerman, famous pig. <laughs> if we're finished for the time being, I think I'll go down to the midway and meet some of my friends. Sure. Maybe I'll even win me one of those Nahavo blankets I've been hearing about. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to be at the fair, isn't it? I'm nearly as excited as the kids. Uh, Edith, you want to go out and uh, see some of those tractors? Sure, let me just drag him off. Oh, oh look, <laughs> he's asleep. Uh, Martha, how about we wander over to the cattle barn and we can see the Holsteins and Guernseys? I'll finish. Let's go. We'll be seeing y'all back here in a little while. Alright. I thought they'd never leave. It's easier to hide out in a barn than out in the open like this. Well... I think I'll do a little exploring. Please bring me back a word, Templeton. I'll do what I can. If I don't write something, I'm just gonna have a hard time winning that blue ribbon. He's a cute little pig and smart too. I'm sure there'll be bigger pigs here and better looking ones too. Oh. Hi there. Hello. May I have your name? No name. Just call me Uncle. Very well. Uncle. You're rather large. Are you a spring pig? Sure. I'm a spring pig. What do you think I was? A spring chicken? Ah, ah, ah. That was a good one. Hey, sister. Mildly funny. I've heard funnier ones, though. What are you doing over here? They're still working on my pen. I just walked away. But they'll come after me when they see I'm gone. But I thought I'd wander around and take a look at the competition. Well, no problem here. From what I've seen so far, I've got that blue ribbon all sewed up. But I won't needle you about it, get it? Ha ha ha! Cole, where are you, Uncle? Well, better be better getting back. Gotta get spiffy for the crowds that'll be coming to admire me. So long, sister. <sighs> oh, hey, Charlotte. Where is everyone? Off to see the fair. Did I hear you talking to someone just now? Yes, the pig from next door. Is he better than me? I mean, bigger? I'm afraid he's much bigger. Oh, no. But he has the most unattractive personality. Oh, he'll be a tough pig to beat on account of his size and weight, but with me helping you, it can be done. When will you be writing the new word? Later on, if I'm not too tired. Just spinning this new web earlier today took a lot of my strength.
Well, here's a good looking fellow. Zuckerman's famous pig. Oh, look at his nice white coat. Oh, and his cute little tail. I think he's the finest pig we've seen today. Whoa. Let's go look at that pig over there. I think I've heard of you. Aren't you that radiant pig that's supposed to be terrific? Hey, come over here and look at this pig. He's gigantic. And he seems very confident. He might get the blue ribbon after all. Now let's go look at the horses and see if we can pick the winner over there. Oh no. Did you hear that, Charlotte? Chin up, young friend. Those weren't the judges that are merely the spectators. The judges are the ones who count. At your order. I hope you brought a good one, Templeton. It's the last word I shall ever write. Last word? Charlotte, what do you mean? Templeton, I'm having trouble reading this. My eyes seem to be going. What's the word? Yeah, that would be a uh, humble. H-U-M-B-L-E. Humble has two meanings. It means not proud, and it means close to the ground. That's Wilbur all over. Well, if you're satisfied, I'm not gonna spend all my time delivering papes. I came to this fair to enjoy myself. Well, you've been very helpful, Templeton. You may run along now. <laughs> ah, the old sheep was right. This place is a rat's paradise. What eating, what drinking. Bye-bye, <laughs> my humble Wilbur. Fare thee well, Charlotte, you old schemer. This will be a night to remember in the rat's life. Charlotte, what did you mean when you said this would be your last word? Shh. But Charlotte? Perfect, Larvy. Good for you. <laughs> Just lucky, that's all. <laughs> hey, everybody, come see what Larvy won. What is it, Larvy? A genuine Navajo blanket. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. I do wonder where Fern is. Oh, she'll be along. Well, everybody, I think it's about time we thought about heading home. Will the pig be okay? Sure, Avery. They have night watchmen to look after the animals after the people leave. He'll be fine. Get lots of sleep, Wilbur. Judges will be around first thing in the morning. Hey, they may even get here before we do. That's funny, everyone! <laughs> That's a lucky day today. Well, it will be a lot luckier for Wilbur tomorrow. Fern, where were you? I've been worried. I met Henry Fussy, and we went for a ride on the Ferris wheel. Henry Fussy? He even bought a ticket for me. My, my. <laughs> Let's load up, everybody. I hope you weren't too worried about me. Not really. Now that I know where you were. Good night, Wilbur. I'll be thinking about you tomorrow. Good luck. Mother, let me tell you about my Ferris wheel ride with Henry. Once we stopped at the very top, and you could see the whole county. Or at least I guess it was the whole county. It's nice that Fern found a friend here at the fair. Well, you had better be getting to work. Is this really going to be your last word, Charlotte? I think so. And tonight I have another job to do. Is it something for me? <laughs> no, it's something for me for a change. Please tell me what it is. I'll show you in the morning. Listen, it's the fireworks. Fireworks are an important part of the thing. I'm glad you're with me, Charlotte. I never feel lonely when you're near. Thank you. Even if I don't win that blue ribbon tomorrow, and the worst happens, I will never forget you. It's very kind of you to say. Now go to sleep. Good night, Wilbur. Before long, Wilbur was asleep. Charlotte could tell by the sound of his breathing that he was sleeping peacefully in the straw. By now, the fair was quiet, and the people had gone. It was a good time for Charlotte to work. Though she was very tired, she worked quickly, for she had yet another job to do. Swing spinnerets, let out the thread. The longer it gets, the better it's read. Before long, she finished writing in the web. 
the message is spun. I've come to the end. The job that I've done is all for my friend. After she had finished writing the new word in the web, she moved on to another project. It carried her far into the night. When she was finally finished, she was exhausted, and she fell into a deep, deep sleep. The first light of the next morning revealed the new word in Charlotte's web. It was very early when the judges came around to determine the winners of the blue ribbons. The blazing orange sun slowly began to rise on the most important day of Wilbur's life. <sighs> oh, there's the new word. Humble. Fits you perfectly. But what's that object there? It looks like cotton candy. Did you make it? I did indeed. It's my egg sack. What's inside it? Eggs? 514 of them. Kidding. You're really going to have 514 children, Charlotte? Nothing happens. Yes. But of course, they won't show up until next spring. You don't seem very happy about this. I guess I feel sad because I won't ever see my children. Of course you'll see them. We'll all see them. Wilbur, I don't feel good at all. My eggs and I may not make it back to the barn. Charlotte, don't say that. Stop worrying about me. This is your big day. I'm sure you'll win. What a night! What a night! What feasting and carousing! I must have eaten the remains of thirty lunches. Ah, uh, it was rich, my friends, rich! Ah! You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Templeton. You'll have an attack of acute indigestion. Eh, uh, don't worry about me. Wilbur's the one you should be worrying about. What do you mean? I, uh, I got some bad news for you, kid. As I was walking past here this morning, I uh, walked past the pen of that fat pig, you know, the one who calls himself Uncle. Well, I, uh, I noticed a blue ribbon on the front of his pen. That means he won first prize. Oh, no. Wait till Zuckerman gets a hankering for some smoked bacon and ham. He'll take the knife to you, my boy. Be still, Templeton. Don't listen to him, Wilbur. I bet he's so scared he's gonna faint again. No, I'm not. I, I may not live as long as I'd like, but I've lived very well. A good life is much more important than just having a long life. So from now on, I'm gonna stop living just for myself. There's more to life than just thinking about yourself all the time. Like you, Templeton. <laughs> you didn't even notice that Charlotte laid an egg sack. Egg sack? Yeah. She's going to become a mother. For your information, there are 514 eggs in that peachy little sack. Well, congratulations. This has been a night. <laughs> I'm sorry about the blue ribbon, Wilbur. But you're being very brave about it. Bravery is just one of the many things I've learned from you, Charlotte. My friend. Look! Look, everybody! Look what it says in Charlotte's web! Humble! My goodness! <laughs> Humble! Another miracle! Well, he's sure to win that blue ribbon now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, I can't believe it! What is it, Avery? That pig over there already won first prize! It's okay. It's okay. It's not fair. He only won because he's fat. I'll bet the judges are fat too. You know what? No. There's no reason for us to be crying. Uh, Edith, uh, give the pig his bottle of milk bath. But he didn't win. But people are still going to come by and see him. And what's written in this here web. Let's get busy. That's the spirit, Homer. I'll get him his breakfast. I'll help with the bath, Edith. Thank you. Burn Avery, you tidy up the area. Homer, I think our sign needs to be a little more 
prominent. What's prominent mean? It means easier to see, more noticeable. You're often very prominent yourself, Avery. Attention, <laughs> please. Attention, please. We would like to ask many, as many of you as can to assemble in the livestock area where we are about to present a special award. Special award? <laughs> uh, it must be for the uh, cows or the horses. When you arrive at the livestock area, please go to the area where the pigs are located. Sounds like somebody over here is going to win another award. A uh, fat pig over there. When you arrive at the area where the pigs are located, please go to the pig owned by Mr. Homer Zuckerman. Pig owned by Mr. Homer. <laughs> Yo! <Yahoo! laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, uh, no time to lose, uh, everybody get busy. Oh. I'll get some more straw. I'll get the slop bucket. Homer, does my hair look all right? Oh, uh, it looks fine. You didn't even look at my hair. <laughs> it's all right, Edith. Just keep calm. <laughs> oh, finish. Oh, sorry, Edith. So it's like, well, good morning. Hello there. Ben. Is this Zuckerman's pig? Yes, indeed. There he is. It's a pig we've all been hearing about. Zuckerman's famous pig. He looks like a prize winner to me. Not as big as the pig next door, but he's cleaner. That's what I like. So do I. And he's humble, too. Just like it says in the spider web. Yes, sir. A mighty fine piggy out there, folks. Oh, oh, thank you. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, if you could all gather around. <laughs> Zuckerman? Wait, what do you want to do? Pleased to meet you, sir. <laughs> Uh, testing, testing, can everybody hear me? Okay, good. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, may I now present to you Mr. Homer L. Zuckerman's distinguished pig. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Many of you will recall when the writing first appeared mysteriously on the spider's web, calling the attention of all of the fact that this was some pig. <laughs> you said, said that. that. You I said that. that. You did. <laughs> And then came the word terrific. And he is. Just look at him. <laughs> it's the buttermilk. <laughs> Do you want to go into it? And then came the word radiant. And finally today, humble. Whence came this mysterious writing? We'll wow. never know for Jeez. sure. <laughs> we <laughs> that we are dealing with the supernatural same. forces here. And we should all feel proud and grateful. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I must not take up any more of your valuable time. So on behalf of the governor's affair, I have here $25 <laughs> for Mr. Homer L. Zuckerman. <laughs> And this bronze medal, which fire shines any blue ribbon, to this radiant, this terrific, this humble pig. <laughs> Wait, Zuckerman! What's, what's wrong with your pig? Oh, oh he, he, he's, he's fine. fine. He's, he's fine. fine. He, Avery! He gets these uh, spells, right? Yeah. Uh, he's uh, modest and uh, can't take praise. That happens well, all the time. We can't give a to a dead pig. Oh, he's not it's dead. It's never been done before. No, he's not dead. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's not dead. He's uh, uh, fainted. Yeah, right? that's it. <laughs> uh, well, 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 go get some water. Uh -huh. He's fine. This happens all the time. Don't worry. <laughs> He'll be up in a minute. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank, you. Thank you. He's fine. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, the county fair queen has been awarded just in time to award the prizes herself. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention for the official awarding of the prizes. Here is $25 for Mr. Homer Zuckerman. Thank you. And a bronze medal for the star attraction of our county fair. <laughs> Oh. What? I owe you, Larvy. Can't you see the pig is all right? Uh, you asked for water. I did not ask for a shower bath. <laughs> Avery! <laughs> Stop showing off, Avery. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, if I could ask you all to proceed onto the grandstand, you'll be just in time for today's first harness races. I thank you one and all for attending this historic award ceremony, but if you'll excuse me, I have to go and call the first race. Look at Wilbur and his new medal! We're mighty proud of you, boy. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. <laughs> After all this excitement, I think it's about time we thought about heading home. Oh, Homo, could we just take one last moment to celebrate the occasion by taking a look around the midway? You know what? That sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Mother, may I have 40 cents? It 
It's my turn to take Henry for a ride on the Ferris wheel. Thank you. Oh, Henry Fussy, imagine that. <laughs> Let's go. We'll be back in a jiffy, Wilbur. <laughs> Wear that medal with pride, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Wilbur. I was in such a hurry to meet Henry. I forgot to tell you how proud I am of you. I knew from the very first day I met you that you were some pig. Henry, wait for me. Let's go for a ride on the Ferris wheel. Charlotte? Charlotte, are you all right? Yes, a little tired perhaps, but I feel much better now knowing that you'll live secure and safe. Charlotte, why did you do all this for me? I never did anything for you. You have been my friend. That in itself is a tremendous thing. And besides, it's a life anyway. We're born, we live a little, we die. Perhaps by helping you, I was lifting up my own life a trifle. Heaven knows anyone's life could use a little of that. You've saved me, Charlotte. And I would gladly give my life for you. I really would. I'm sure you would. Charlotte, we're going back to the barn today. Won't it be great to see all the other animals again? I'm not going back to the barn, Wilbur. Going back? Charlotte, what do you mean? I'm done for. In a day or two, I'll be dead. Charlotte! I'm Noah, but let's not make a scene. I... I won't leave you here to die alone. I shall stay too. No, you can't. There'll be no one to feed you. Soon the fairgrounds will be empty and deserted. Wait. I have an idea. Templeton! Templeton, get up! Uh, Pay attention! Can the rat catch a wink of sleep? Listen to me. Charlotte is very ill. She won't be coming back to the barn with us. I need to get her egg sack, but I can't reach it and I can't climb. Please, Templeton, please climb up there for me and get the egg sack. Yeah, and what do I look like? A rat of all woik? Templeton, please, they're coming back. Okay, I, I shall make you a promise. Get Charlotte's egg sack for me and... And from now on, you can eat first whenever Lurvy slops me. You get first choice of everything in the trough. You mean that? Cross my heart. All right. It's a deal. Use extreme caution. I don't want a single one of those eggs harmed. Thank you, Templeton. And now... You'd better go and hide under the straw in the truck if you want to ride back to the barn. Yeah, you bet I'm going back to the barn, now that I get first choice of everything in the trough. Carol Wilbur, Edith. You drop the tailgate of the pickup and get his crate ready. Oh, Charlotte. Arthur, put Avery and Fern in the truck. We'll be there in a minute. Better clean things up a little. We don't want the governor's affair to think the prize-winning pig left a mess behind. Well, sir, it turns out to be a mighty fine fair. <laughs> mighty fine. Best one I've ever been to. The very best. Come on, Wilbur. This will be a day you can tell your grandpiglets about. <laughs> Bye, Charlotte. Bye, my friend. Bye, Wilbur. Thanks for saving my egg sack. Bye, friend. Tom Pig. Charlotte summoned all her strength and waved to Wilbur. She went back to her web and never. The next day, as the Ferris wheel was being taken apart, and the racehorses were being loaded into their vans, and the entertainers were packing up their belongings and driving away in their trailers, Charlotte died. The fairgrounds were soon deserted. The sheds and buildings were empty and forlorn. 
The fields were littered with bottles and trash. Of the hundreds of people that had visited the fair that year, no one knew that a gray spider had played the most important part of all. No one was with her when she died. Will the barn. The animals were delighted with his success at the fair, but everyone missed Charlotte very much. For the rest of the fall and all through the winter, Wilbur watched over Charlotte's egg sack. For his own children. Patiently, he awaited the end of winter and the coming of the little spiders. <laughs> Looks like Wilbur hasn't gotten to any of his slops yet. Wilbur hasn't eaten anything these past few days. He just sits out there in the yard waiting for those eggs to hatch. Eh, who wants to live forever? You, you, you tell him. No, 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 you do the honors. Very, very well. The goose and I are expecting goslings. Again? Must be spring. Everything's sprouting. <laughs> They're here! They're here! Who's here? The spiders! They've hatched! All 514! Look! They seem to be climbing up above the rafters! Yeah! They're going to where the breezes are blowing! Look! They're... They're floating away on little clouds of silk. Wait! Don't go! They're all leaving. being deserted by Charlotte's children. There, 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 Wilbur. They have to live their own lives, you know. I know that, but I was just hoping... Oh, never mind. Salutations. Salutations? Who said that? Me. I'm over here. I'm over here. And I'm over here. Mm -hmm. Three of us are staying. We like this place. And we like you. Oh, my goodness. Well, salutations to you all, too. This is wonderful. Wonderful. What are your names, please? Excuse me, are you trembling? Yes, trembling with joy. Then my name is Joy. What was my mother's middle initial? A. Then my name will be Arania. I need a name, too. Pick one out for me. Not too fancy and not too dumb. How about, uh, Nelly? Fine. I like that very much. Joy? Arania, Nelly, welcome to your new home. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Where did you get that handsome medal you're wearing? Well, it's a long story, but right now, I'm going to take this medal off. Eh? Hey, Templeton, could you go and hang it on that nail where Charlotte's Web used to be? Another favor? This is the last one, I promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until next time. Like this? Perfect. Thank you, Templeton. I hereby dedicate this medal to the memory of dear Charlotte, whom I will never forget. No one will ever, ever, ever forget her. I will love her children and her grandchildren dearly but none of them will ever take her place in my heart. She was in a class by herself. It's not often that you meet someone who's both a good friend and a great writer. Charlotte was both. But you got to have friends.